Hi everyone, I'm Anna from Geo Marvel, and today I'm going to be walking you through ArcGIS notebooks. So when you open up a new notebook, uh, I've already named this one, but you'll see Untitled Notebook, and the only thing that you'll see is this kernel with import statements. And what they do is they get your environment ready to actually use the ArcGIS notebook with content in your organization. So these two are boilerplate. We're obviously going to use those, but I'm going to add two more for some stuff that we're going to do in a little bit. So I'm just going to copy paste some code there and run that. And in a second, it's going to say we're ready to go. And it shows that I am logged into my GIS. So from here, I want to experiment a little bit with uh, users within my organization. So I'm going to use this GIS command. So GIS is the module. Within GIS, there's a users module and there's a specific command me. So GIS users me is gonna return my profile. And then within this me category, I can print out my username and it's gonna be equal to me.username. But when I return me you're, and I run this kernel, you're gonna see my full profile with my name, photo, and information about when I joined the organization. So from here, now that I've seen info about myself, I want to actually go through and look at content. So I'm going to define a variable, meet my content, and I'm going to do me.items. And this is going to return all of the content that I have in my ArcGIS online account. And to go through it, what I'm going to do is loop through all of my content. So me.items or my content is a list within Python. So in order to go through it, I'm going to make a for loop. And what I want to see is the content title. This dot title is a property associated with items as well as the type. So whether it's a feature layer, a map, whatever. So for every item in this list of items, I'm going to print out the title and the type. And for a demonstration, I want to keep this item. So I'm going to make a new variable. And if my content title equals this item, I'm making it my notebook item. So I save that one. And at the end of my content, I'm going to print that notebook item. So I'm going to run this. And we're going to see a list of my content and what kind of content it is within ArcGIS Online. And at the bottom here, we see this fire stations DC. I see that it's a feature layer collection and I see that it belongs to me, which we knew. So you guys noticed earlier, we imported this display module. And what that does in ArcGIS notebooks is if I want to display my saved item from right here, I can do display and then that item. And if I run this, it's going to show me the feature layer as well as information about it. So once I have my layer in my notebook, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can get content from your organization. So I can do it one of two ways. I can either do gis.content, which is a module, and then this dot get, which is slightly different from search because you don't have any parameters. You just put the ID in. But I can do gis.content.get and just input the item ID or I can bring it in as a variable the way I did here and do gis.content.get and then do this item.id, which is a property of items within the Python ArcGIS API. So if I run this, you're going to see my two things here and I can show you that they're going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to do the same thing, display and both of those things. I see both of them. It's the exact same layer. I just uh, got it from my content, two different ways. If you know the ID, you can just do that. If you don't know the ID, this might be a better option. Okay, so now that I have shown you a couple ways to get items, I'm going to go ahead and show you a simple way to do analysis in ArcGIS Notebook. So what I'm going to do, well, first things first, we also imported at the very top this ArcGIS.features. So within the ArcGIS module, there's a module features. And from this features, I want to import use proximity and analysis tool. So now what I want to do with that layer is create a buffer. So from use proximity module, I'm going to run the function create buffers. And in it, I'm going to pass the parameters, uh, what layer I want to use, fire stations one, which is exactly the same as fire stations two. And both of those are also the same as notebook item. But for the purposes of showing you how to bring in content a couple different ways, we have three different variables for the same thing. So anyways, fire stations one. The next parameter that I'm going to pass is distance. So 
what distance I want around each of my points to create a buffer. In this case, I want one. And most importantly, I'm going to say I want one mile. So I'm going to run this. And this little star indicates that it's still in progress. So when it's finished, it's going to have a number indicating what order it ran in. Okay, so this is completed. Uh, and now I have fire stations buffer. But just to prove it, what we can do is print the item type for this variable to see what we actually made. Uh, and we see that we made a feature collection. So in order to visualize this, what I'm going to do is make a map called fire map, and then I'm going to display it. So create my map, give it a variable, display it for the notebook, and it's pretty much just going to show the globe. See, no data on this map. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer to it. And I do this. Uh, maps in the ArcGIS module have a function called add layer. And I just pass the layer that I want to add. And I know this is a feature layer, so I know that that's good. So I'm going to add it and then display what I just made with my analysis tool. And we see here that I have now made a buffer of one mile around all fire stations in DC using the ArcGIS notebook. So this is how you would do uh, analysis using the ArcGIS notebook. There are definitely more complex things that you can do with it, and there's no shortage of functions and features for the Python API. So a really useful tool to check out, and I hope this was helpful.